Next question is from Grant Satterswaite. When following a program, when is it advisable to go off script for the sake of fun? Oh, well, fun is great when it comes to exercise. Even if it slows down your progress in the short term, if you learn to enjoy exercise, the the likelihood that, you consi- that you'll do it consistently and long term is, is much higher. I mean, I used to use this example with my clients all the time because they would always ask me questions like, you know, what's more effective, like riding a stationary bike or walking on the treadmill on an incline or what's more effective, working out in the morning or working out in the afternoon? I said, okay. I said, look, here's the deal. Let's say waking up at 4 a.m. and swimming in a cold lake was twice as effective than, uh, you know, going for walks, uh, you know, after work with your kids. Um, does that mean you're going to do it more consistently? Is that what's, is it going to be more effective or is it, or are you going to stop doing it because it's 4 a.m. and it's a cold lake? So when it comes to having fun, that's a very important component, uh, with exercise. If you enjoy what you're doing, again, you're more likely to to keep doing it. And so I think if you're, if you're thinking long-term going off the script to enjoy yourself, probably always a great idea. Now, if you're a, a, if you have a timeline, if you're an athlete, if you are going to compete at a particular time, if you have a very specific goal, well, sometimes going off script for the sake of fun might not be a good idea. You know, if I, if I'm a bodybuilder, I'm going to be on stage in four weeks, and I rather than going to the gym to work my back, I'm like, you know, it'd be more fun if I went, you know, mountain bike riding. Maybe not a good idea because that'll hurt my my score on stage. But otherwise. I think this is a good thing for most people. Now, what I what we typically recommend is for most people, if you, for example, let's say you signed up for one of our, our workout programs, the first time through, follow it like it's laid out. The second time around, start making changes. Listen to your body. Do things you might find a little bit more fun. Start to learn your body. That's such an important uh, part of uh, longevity when it comes to fitness. I think that... Uh this is I off the script and fun is how I train all the time. The only time that I was uh, like following something to a T was competing. Uh, and for the reasons that you just alluded to was, uh, you know, I had a time frame. I had to, I had to improve my physique uh, every single time I got back on stage and I had a small window between every show. And so there was uh, every day counted every, every, everything I ate counted, every workout counted, uh, and you know, the, and that's what makes it like a sport, like, you know, cause I'm competing against other people. Anybody else who didn't treat it that way probably didn't do as well. Um, but for real life and, and enjoying the gym and training, oh, I think it's important to do this. I think, I think you should do this more often than not. You just got to know that it's, it's okay that if, and then we talk about this on the show a lot, right? Sometimes, um, a, a workout for me, it might be literally the whole hour is, is centered around squatting. Uh, me getting down and doing some 90-90 stuff, then going doing a set, and then assessing how my movement is, then going back and doing some combat stretch, and then going back to the squat, and then assessing how my, my squat is again, and then maybe doing some single leg stuff to prime, or doing some jump box stuff to get me, re- and playing with an exercise for an entire hour to see how I can improve it, and 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 really pay attention to where my breakdown is, like, I like that, I enjoy that, or you know, an exercise like the Turkish get up, which, you know, some people think is a waste of time. And we talk about it was all the values and the benefits of getting good at it. So maybe my training for a while sometimes is all about the Turkish get up, like everything about making the Turkish get, which means I'm doing all that. And anything else that I do is to complement that. So if for, for example, if I go to do a Turkish get up and I lack good, uh, my shoulder is not, I'm not holding the kettlebell above my head right because of my shoulder mobility. So then the other exercises I'm doing is to get more mobile shoulders so I can be better at my Turkish get up. Like now training this way, I know I'm not building the most muscle I possibly can that week, or I'm not burning the most body fat. But what I do care about is that it's benefiting me. It's, it's giving me a new goal or a focus and it's fun. And it's what keeps me always coming back to the gym and it makes it easy to be consistent because it doesn't always have to translate into the scale and my body fat percentage and how much weight is on the bar. Mm -hmm. So I I think this is a very important uh, aspect of training. I think most of us should train in the fun place. Mm -hmm. But I do agree with Sal that I think it's very important that everybody follows something that's been been written by a professional first 
so you so you understand like what good programming does for your body if you want to make quicker or faster changes and how your body should feel when its pro- exercises are programmed correctly and sets and reps and you cycle in and out of phases so you know what that's like and then after you under- got a good concept of that then I encourage this way of training. Yeah, the, the truth is people who constantly work out to hit a goal are not nearly as consistent long-term as people who work out because they enjoy the workout. Yeah. So remember that uh, for yourself. Uh, it's great to have goals. It's great to want to hit those goals. But what's going to keep you consistent long-term or forever is that you enjoy what you're doing. Well, it's the difference with really like turning that into a lifestyle. Or, or not. And, and it, again, it, I can't help but think it's, it's sports, like going into it, like looking at a very specific thing that I have to do. And so you're very rigid in, in being disciplined uh, because, you know, it's all riding, uh, you know, around this type of work that you put into now to then perform. If you don't have that kind of restriction and that kind of timeline and temp, like it's, it's crucial to, to add uh, fun things uh, to mix it up just because like, it's all about frequency. It's all about about, uh, you know, constantly, uh, you know, moving your body uh, and and that's what's going to pay off long term. Mm, Excellent. 